here's my first tutorial of 2019. I created a character in the spirit of the season. If you want to see how this icy nymph was done, then stick around. I started with taking Telus's 8F adhesive and pre-gluing each ear and the silicone ear tips. Use Skin Illustrator Zero Color Powder over the areas. Now I can position the prosthetic in place, then reactivate the glue with a brush dipped in thinner and a touch of adhesive. After the edges are all down, use some acetone to remove the excess flashing. Stipple Prosade over the edge of the prosthetic to finish blending into the skin, and over the rest of the prosthetic to help seal it better for paint. Applied a few layers of glue stick on my brows and then powdered everything down. Grabbing a sea sponge, Bill Buggles Pro in Teal and Global Body Art Face Paint in White, blend the two colors for the base tone. Went and used more teal in the shadow areas while feathering it into the lighter areas. With just the white body paint, I brightened up the highlight areas. Still stippling the whole time because I wanted some soft breakup to look more like skin. Used a brush and the white paint to get any areas I might have missed with the sponge. Back to the sponge and now with Bow Buggles Pro in light purple. Placing it in the outer areas of the arms and the edge of some of the teal spaces. Sponge some onto the inner eye area and sprayed everything down with green marble sealer. To soften the transition on the colors, use a duo fiber brush and white body paint. Still using a stippling motion and applying it to the edge of the teal and purple. Also added it to any areas that needed to be brightened. Spatter over the lighter spaces with Skin Illustrator in white. After a few passes, grab a brush and add more pigment to the classic highlight places down the center of the face and the top of the cheekbones. Using the Collective Cosmetics Moon Twin Palette, take the highlighter shade Dazzling. Placing it on the cheeks, collarbones, tip of nose, and chin. Applied it heavy with my finger to get more opaque coverage. Painted some snowflakes with the white body paint. For some reason, I completely spaced on checking my frame, so I didn't properly film this. Added some streaks above the temples, going for an icy crack texture. With an orange stipple sponge and a thick mixture of Skin Illustrator White, add some snowy texture to the shoulders and temples. Then I put in some icy blue mini scaleras. Added some NYX Professional Makeup Lid Lingerie and Bad to the Bone on the lid and lower lash line. And softly blended it out with a brush. Taking the Collective Cosmetics Moon Twin Palette again using the shade Armor over the cream. Then with the highlight color Sundial, add it to the outer areas of the armor color. Color my waterline with NYX Professional Makeup Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk. Followed by applying it with the brush in the outer corners of the eyes. Use Skin Illustrator White to finish filling in my lips. Put a thin layer of Devil's Kiss Pressed Glitter and Cupcake over top. Now back to the eyes. This time taking NYX Professional Makeup Glitter Primer and applying it into the outer corners, then pressing Iridescent Cosmetic Glitter into the primer. Threw on some lashes I pre-painted white and added some paper pieces too. Used a small fan brush and white body paint 
the color in my natural lashes to match. For the lower lashes, I used acrylic pieces that I cut into thin icicle shapes, then heated and twisted them to give them a nicer shape and so they can catch the light. Then I spritzed some green marble sealer over my chest and shoulders, then added glitter. Took ice gel from Ice Effects and applied it along the hairline, also brushing it back into the hair. Then pressing chopped iridescent glitter into the gel and hair. Apply some periwinkle loose glitter from American Body Art. Okay, so the spikes I cut from the icicle ornaments, usually try to test these things to make sure they're gonna work as intended, but I didn't do that this time and found that the weight of the pieces would cause them to sag and eventually fall off. I wasn't able to find any clear plastic at the time, so I ended up using white. Not optimal, but had to make it work. So I ended up cutting out oval shapes to help distribute the weight and then taping them on. I was planning on adding glitter around them anyway. I stippled a little teal on it and left some of the white exposed since there is white in the makeup. Took the ice gel and started spreading that at the base of the icicles. Then added chopped iridescent glitter. Threw in some fine loose iridescent glitter and the periwinkle color for good measure. And if you're wondering, yes, this stuff got everywhere. Still finding glitter all over the apartment. As a last touch, put a little Collective Cosmetics sundial highlighter on the cupid's bow and bottom lip line. Then it's all done. Thank you for watching. Hope you had fun with this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.